administrative non-job related payroll taxes going up here. So the general setup is directed up here. So if you could have a general service, that would just be on the um Payroll service is complicated, and I think I touch on it here. Um, okay, right. Do we have any time here? Um, yeah, so if you have a payroll service and you want a job cost, it's complicated and it's way beyond the scope of this particular uh, class, but it can be done. It's just, um, the few people in the back there that have experience with it, it's clunky, it's not pretty, and it can be confusing. And, all that, but if you, you can't get it to work, I've, I've done it for people. Um, it's done with a lot of general entries and clearing accounts and all of that. All right, so um, <clears throat> whether or not I use uh, payroll or not, as I touched on earlier, time sheet feature is a great way to capture uh, time spent by uh, employees, vendors, owners, partners. Uh, so at least you have a sense of how you're tracking um, relative to your particular uh, budget items and all that. Um, so we've already established the uh, preference in the, uh, uh, what was it, time and uh, mileage. So we check off that, so that's all set to go. Um, so as we demonstrated here, So if you go home, you have the ability to enter time and use weekly time sheet. And again, for any of you that are larger companies, uh, QuickBooks has the capability of online time sheets. So you can uh, connect electronically uh, through the internet and have your people